consciousness, you experience what you are awake to. This book has been largely about wealth consciousness. But what is consciousness? It is being awake to something. Wealth consciousness is being awake to wealth. Wealth has always been there, of course, but you may not have been awake to it. You cannot experience what you are asleep to. Consciousness is the set of attributes and capabilities that enable you to be awake to a state of being or a set of experiences. This book has been about the things that enable you to be awake to the wealth that is already there and the happiness that is already there as well. So, my friend, wake up. The material wealth of a nation is simply the manifestation of the collective wealth consciousness of that nation. That applies to any group of people, from families to corporations to continents and worlds. The least conscious person in a group of people will bring down the experiences of the most conscious. So a wise person does whatever they can to raise the consciousness of the group at large so that they themselves may experience more. It is self-defeating to do nothing or to lower someone else's wealth consciousness. Several studies show that many people who win over $1 million in lotteries end up worse off financially than they were before they won. They lose all that money in amazingly short periods and end up even worse off because of the new debts and liabilities they accumulate. See, it is not the money that makes a person wealthy. It is their wealth consciousness. People without wealth consciousness are unable to get wealthy, even when a huge sum of money comes their way in a lottery win. On the other hand, people with wealth consciousness cannot fail to have money and wealth for extended periods. They may go broke occasionally due to an error in thinking or a higher choice, but they always bounce back up. They have no fear of getting broke because they know even if it happens it is temporary and they are designed to come right back up. You can take away all their money and within a year they will be wealthy again, or at least be on their way to wealth. Luck has nothing to do with it. The greatest creative forces become available when your conscious, subconscious, and superconscious selves are in harmony in their choices. You make them so by raising your consciousness and awareness to all three levels of yourself. You become aware and conscious of things you used to do subconsciously and so on. You can do this by deciding to be aware. Decide to be mindful and deliberate. Watch your thoughts and actions and dreams instead of walking about daydreaming in a daze and doing things on automatic. It would also be a good idea to consider vipassana, mindfulness meditation. It is one of the best ways of increasing your awareness. You see, yourself makes choices, but if you are not aware of them, you will not know what they are. These choices are the superconscious ones. You start becoming aware of them by honoring your feelings, not emotions or thoughts masquerading as feelings, but genuine feelings. You also become aware of your superconscious through meditation. You also make choices consciously and you make some subconsciously. You can increase your awareness of your subconscious choices by deciding to be aware, watching your thoughts. For example, in the past you may have had idle thoughts of fear and indecision regarding a particular topic. These thoughts went on in your head all the time as you did other things. They were background thoughts. Well now, what you should do is watch your thoughts and do not allow any idle daydreams that keep tossing about an issue like a wild monkey in a cage. The point is that if for a particular decision these three levels all choose differently, your results will obviously be mixed and confusing to you. The way to fix that is to raise your awareness on all levels. The source of all creation is a field of infinite possibilities and creativity. Our true self is one with the source in the same image and likeness. When we are conscious of that and believe it is so, we tap into this field of infinite possibilities and in our inherent creative abilities. You must have wealth consciousness that knows no poverty, or more accurately, the illusion of poverty. Work on it until the idea of poverty is laughable, until to think that you can possibly become poor is a ridiculous idea to you. You create money by increasing the value inside you. You do that by reading books like this. You also do that by remembering your true self that is in the image and likeness of the source, abundant by nature. You then experience money by exchanging the value you have built in you. Exchange it with others by providing services, goods, and money to others in exchange for their services, goods, and money. Remember that people have unique purpose or ability within them. 
They fulfill part or all of this ability or purpose. They create something out of and by it by using their internal value. Their creations are therefore unique, and the exchange of these unique creations is what brings about the paper or cash money. Paper or cash money is just a medium of exchange for our uniquely developed internal value. Build wealth by building your inner value. Experience wealth by carrying out your purpose and ability using that built-up inner value. It all lies inside you. To build external wealth, build internal value, then exercise it. It is that simple. The biggest components of internal value are instantly available to all. These are faith or certainty, imagination, inquiry, and focus. Activity, taking action, translates inner value into outer value, material wealth. Wealth follows those with wealth consciousness. It is not the other way around. Wealth consciousness comes from states and thoughts of prosperity and wealth full of confidence. It does not allow any moment at all to think poverty thoughts of limitations, doubt, and scarcity, nor to have states of fear and disbelief. The earning of money has nothing to do with the direct manipulation of the papers you now call money. It has all to do with wealth consciousness. Wealth is a predictable result. The causes of wealth are predictable and accessible to all without exception. To the extent that you have wealth consciousness inside of you, outside things will enable you to experience wealth or hinder you from experiencing wealth. This is the same for happiness. To the extent that you have happiness inside of you, outside things will enable you to experience happiness or hinder you from experiencing happiness. And it is the same for everything else. Peace, love, non-judgment, non-condemnation, non-segregation.